Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com. We're so excited today because we're going to show you how you can log in to our servers using an iPad and launch your virtual desktop and run all of your software applications and have access to all of your data no matter where you are. So to get things started, we're going to tap on this V workspace icon in the center of my screen here. And as it We'll zoom in there a little bit. It's V as in Victor, the word workspace, and that's a free app in the App Store. So, go ahead and tap that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to log into one of our demo accounts. And we're going to launch a desktop. This is an ACT 2011 desktop. And again, this is, we just, that's what we call it, but it's a Windows desktop. And on this particular desktop, we've probably got about six or seven different software applications, including Microsoft Office, as well as ACT. And we host over 320 different software applications, so the chances are that if you've got a business application that you'd like to have hosted, we already host it. Um, we also provide you space up on our servers so that you can share your data files with other employees in your company. No matter whether you've got two employees or a hundred employees, you can share the space up on the server and all of those employees can have access to that data no matter where they are in the world. You also have private space on the server, so if you've got some personal files you want to put up on the server, you can do that. As well as in the shared space, you can set permissions on folders so that only certain groups within the company can have access to certain data. So here you have it. That was a pretty quick login there. We've got a Windows desktop with icons on it. And if we zoom in a little bit here, you can see that there's Microsoft Word, there's PowerPoint, there's Outlook, there's Excel, there's Act Premium by Sage, there's Microsoft Access, there's a Windows folder, and you'll see my computer at the top. And again, um, as I said, this is a full Windows desktop. So these are all full-blown desktop versions of those software applications. And we're going to go ahead and open up ACT here, start things, and you just double tap it just as if you were sitting at your desk and you would double click the icon to launch the ACT software. And then we just tap OK to log into the actual database that we have up here. And once this loads up, there you have it. I mean, it's loading just as fast as it would if I was sitting at my local machine. So I could be at a ballpark and I could do everything at that ballpark that I could do if I was sitting at my desk. We just freed you up from your desk. You can move about, you can go wherever you want, you can be in a car, you could be in an airplane at 30,000 feet. And the cool thing about this, again, this is the full desktop version, so if I was at that ball game and I got an idea to have a new field in my database, a customized field so that we can better track something that's specific to my business, I can do that because this is the full-blown version. So if I activate this little mouse, I'm going to go up here to Tools and Define Fields. And now we're into Define Fields. Now the reason I'm showing this is to make a distinction between this and Act for Web because I know when some folks are considering hosting of Act, they look at Act for Web. You cannot do this in Act for Web. You cannot get into the screen where I am now. You can't create, edit, or delete fields. You cannot change the security access to fields on a per user basis. So these are things that you would want to be able to do in order to customize your database to meet, to meet your company's specific needs. And they can be done in our environment with virtualroof.com because we host the full desktop versions, but they cannot be done in Act for Web. So that's one, one item there. The other thing I wanted to show you is how quick things are. So if I move my mouse up here and I go to click through some of these records, you can see how fast it moves. And as fast as I'm tapping, it's moving through the records. If I go over to, let's go the other direction since we're just about at the end of the database. And again, I'm tapping through here. And as fast as I'm tapping, it's moving through those records. So hopefully you're able to see that. And you can see how fast this moves. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch over to my, uh, my personal login. 
So you can see a few other things over here, some things that are different. And one of the things that's different is, as I mentioned earlier, we host QuickBooks and there's QuickBooks on my desktop. And again, I'm going to move down here. You can see this is a Windows taskbar and there's Microsoft Outlook. There's the alarms for Outlook, there's QuickBooks, and there's ACT. So I've got all of these applications, and again, you just activate the applications just like you would if you were sitting at your desk. You just tap on it, and there's QuickBooks. And again, this is the full-blown version of QuickBooks. So if I want to do some invoicing in here, or if, or if I want to catch up on some accounting or payment that, that's been received, I can do that. And again, I can do that from a plane or from a car. If I go over to Outlook, you're going to see this is a full-blown version of Outlook. And if you take a look up in the top right corner of the toolbar, you can see the ACT icons. And I'll zoom in here a little bit to help you see that. There's the ACT icons. And so they're right here. And so now I'm able to link Outlook with QuickBook. I'm sorry, Outlook with ACT because it's a full-blown version of both applications. One last thing, if I switch back to ACT and I'm going to launch Sage eMarketing, which is another thing that you cannot do. So again, we're going to activate this mouse and we're going to tap on right and Sage eMarketing and we're going to go over to email marketing. There you have it. It's a full-blown version of, of SwiftPage because it's a full-blown version of Act. and if I click over here to select a template I can do that or I can cancel this and I can go to my surveys and I can download my latest contacts into ACT that have filled out surveys or web forms on our website. So everything that I can do from my desktop, I can do from the iPad, whether I'm in a doctor's office, again at that ball game, at a ski resort, in an airplane, wherever I want to be. I've just freed myself up to be anywhere and I'm sharing all this data with all my other employees in the company no matter where they're located, no matter whether they're running a PC or a Mac or a Linux machine or an iPad. We've all got the same data and it's all live all at the same time. That's pretty much it. You can go to our website, virtualroof.com, if you want more information. If you want to call us, the number is 407 965 0655. And again, thanks for watching this video.